you got to do it. I don't give a shit. All right. You're good to be here. My name is Alfred Linton. Actually, my real name is Albert Nathaniel Alfred Linton. I don't use it because the initials are A N A L. Okay, that's angle for the slow folks. Apparently, some people can't spell for shit. Got a phone call from my ex-wife yesterday. I knew it was her because I have a special ringtone. When she calls, the phone goes, damn, like that. And immediately, my dick becomes a vagina. I'm pushing it back down. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. I'm not afraid of my ex-wife, but my dick is scared shitless. I was shopping the other day at Ralph's supermarket, and there was this gorgeous woman in the deli counter. And she was looking at me, I was checking her out too. And she said, sir, can I help you find what you're looking for? I was looking at my phone, so I said, well, I'm looking for your number, but it's not in here. I'm trying to get laid. I'm old, but I'm not dead, fuck that. So, you know, really, applause on that? Thank you very much, I did it. So, what was I talking about? Oh, this bitch behind the deli counter. So, <laughs> so, she started laughing when I said that, so I figured it was going to be well, right? And then she said, I get off at midnight. And my, my, my mind cut off right there, that's all I heard. I get off at midnight. I'm already buying condoms. Hell, I'm already wearing a condom at this point. I'm thinking I'm going to get laid. So I didn't hear the rest of the statement. What she actually said was, I get off at midnight, hang around till then, I'll have you arrested for stalking me. I didn't hear that part. All I heard was, I get off at midnight. So I hung around thinking I was going to get lucky and get laid, but I got arrested and I went to jail. But I got laid in jail, so it all worked out. And his number is in my phone. And it's good to see you again, sir. I, uh, I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. He doesn't recognize me unless I turn around and bend over. But, you know, then his eyes light up. <laughs> this is the English speaking crowd, right? You guys speak English. Just wanted to check on that. Oh, big titties. That's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. When I met my ex-wife, she was raising her son. He was 12 years old. She was a single mom. And I was so in love with her. I wanted to impress her by being a good dad to him. So I called him son. He called me motherfucker. I couldn't argue with him. So I called him cop blocker. Because he would wait until like 10 o'clock at night. And I'm kicking in the bedroom doing, boom. I want some pancakes. Well, I want pussy. So you need to leave. Go live with your daddy. Get your little ass out of here. So did I tell you my name is Alan Quinn? And I'm originally from Jacksonville, Florida. Anyone else from Florida? Anyone ever heard of the state of Florida? Anybody here? Alright, thank you. I grew up in Jacksonville. It was a poor town when I was a kid. Very poor. My parents were poor, but they were unusual. They kept me. We were so poor, our watchdog ran away. Not that it mattered. We didn't need a watchdog. If a burglar passed our house, we mugged him. One time a burglar broke into our house, all he got was practice. And a t-shirt with my initials on it. A-N-A-L. It was a rough neighborhood. Jehovah's Witnesses carried guns. Mormons rode Harleys. The Avon lady didn't ring the doorbell. She kicked the fucking door in. And then she flexed. Avon calling, bitches! <laughs> scared us shit. We'd be like, lady, if you ain't got no free shit, get your ass out of here. Because <laughs> we fought all the time, man. You know, we fought and fucked. That's all we did. Fight and fucking. You ever have a fight and the person's breath was so bad you gave up? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> and I was winning. <laughs> Until she breathed on me. So finally I gave up and bought the girls y'all cookies. Thank you, two or three people got that for us. What girl scouts got to do with anything? This guy is stupid. So I was kicked out of school, put in reform school. Anyone else ever been in the reform school before besides me? I'm the only criminal here. 
I don't know why they call it reform school. They don't reform you, they don't even try. They want you to be a job. They always just call it what it is, Florida State University. But you know, <laughs> thank you, one person up, right? They wouldn't let me out. They said, no, you can't get out till you improve your penmanship. No one can read your ransom notes. <laughs> My notes would be like, uh, you won't see little Billy uh, Blue. Put a hundred dollar in a brown paper book. What? <laughs> Did they know write this shit? <laughs> so when I got out, I left Florida and came to America. <laughs> then I moved to a third world country, LA. Thank you guys very much.